A couple days ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and I found something that I thought was really interesting. It was a post from Creality and I had never seen a printer that looked like it. So I looked up the name and I looked into it and this is what I found out. Hey everyone, welcome to Callum Prints the News, the only news channel about 3D printing on YouTube. I'm your host Callum and today I have a different kind of episode talking about a printer that I've never actually seen in real life. Wait, that's like all of my videos. A couple days ago, I found this really unique 3D printer with a design that I have never seen before. Its name was the Creality CR30, and yes, it's from the company that I just suck up to all the time. A traditional 3D printer has a nozzle and a bed, and they move accordingly to create layers, and that's basically what 3D printing is. This 3D printer was different. It was at a 45 degree angle, and the bed was anything but normal. It doesn't use a conventional bed like an Ender 3 Pro or a Prusa or anything like that really. Instead, it uses what I can only describe as a treadmill to print stuff long. So the nozzle is kind of at a 45 degree angle and the conveyor belt just slowly goes along. It can't go backwards, it just goes forward until the print is done, pretty much. Now, of course, I don't have this printer because it's out of stock and it's a thousand dollars, but I would like to at least give my impressions on what I've seen from this Creality CR30. First of all, it looks like a treadmill. Duh. I haven't really been working out as much recently in quarantine, so maybe I should get one just for my own personal health. It can print long or tall objects much easier. For example, here's a picture. The sword, it's super long, you know, it's like four feet long, but the printer did it no problem. Something else I noticed about this printer is I feel like it could probably be used if you wanted to mass produce something. Like say you want to print this block or something, you just want to print it over and over and over. You could have that treadmill just slowly roll off as you print more and more blocks. And I think at the end of the treadmill, the stuff would just fall off, right? Because it would eventually go under and the block couldn't follow it, right? And my final first impression is I'm not really sure that this is really practical over a normal printer. Now, to be fair, like that sword I showed earlier, that is much easier to print on the treadmill printer than it is to print on, say, a standard Ender 3 Pro or something like that. So I feel like it could have its applications, but it also seems kind of niche. And with the nozzle being at 45 degrees, I could see a lot of problems going on there. I don't know, maybe it works really well and I'm just a complete idiot. So I'm gonna do some research and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. W what do you mean I didn't leave at all? I definitely did. I'm not even wearing the same clothes. So first of all, uh, I'm a little late to this trend. Turns out this Creality CR30 has been out for at least four months, or at least prototype versions have been out for about four months for testing. So I'm a little late, but regardless, I found some clips of it just printing stuff out and honestly, it just looks really cool when it prints stuff out. I honestly think it's just so weird to see it print at 45 degrees and it, for it to just work. I have no idea how it does, but it does. I think the design is at least innovative. It's something different and it's, a, as I figured, very good at printing stuff out long. I just realized something. How does the slicer work? Cause I'm sure that's not just, you can't just put that into a normal slicer. That's not gonna work. All right, I looked up how the slicer works and it turns out Creality provides a special slicer for these belt type printers. And speaking of that, Creality is not the first one to make a printer like this. I would be extremely ignorant to not mention that Creality did not, this is not their invention. There are other conveyor belt style printers out there, including these on the screen. I don't remember their names right now, all right? So the slicer basically has the width and the height of the printer, but the length is pretty much infinite because technically you could print for as long as you want. So the slicer looks a little funky, but it seems to work just fine. You also can set the angle that your printer is at, but since this printer is always at 45 degrees, there's no need to change that. Also, while I was watching some of those videos, I saw a guy printing off some stuff and the conveyor belt after it went under, the, the stuff he was printing, it just fell off into a box. So yes, you could technically mass produce with this thing. So if you wanted to print 10 of something just in a row, you could do that. Just make the file, stick it in the printer, and you're good to go. Still, I, I just don't know how the diagonal printing works. It, like, it's so weird, but it's also really interesting. But I also don't know how it doesn't create a huge mess instead. Maybe there's a lot of pressure, like more pressure than a normal printer. I don't know. Unless you're printing a lot of really long or tall things, this printer isn't more practical than just, you know, a CR10 or a Prusa Mark III or anything like that, or just any standard printer. But I think it's just really, really cool to look at. I mean, the sword, man, it's just, it's so nice. So all in all, I think this printer is really interesting and has a great design that's very innovative that you don't see out of many other printers or even that many other companies. I'm really tempted to buy one when I can actually afford it. I honestly think this design is one of the most creative yet strange designs that I've ever seen on a 3D printer, and I still don't know how some of it works even right now. Maybe I'll do some more research, update this video, something like that, who knows. I'm really tempted to get one, despite the fact that I have nowhere near a thousand dollars to just spend on a 3D printer. So it might be a while. Unless you subscribe to dead Nah, I'm kidding, but I mean, if you want to subscribe, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you today on Callum Prince the News. I will see you in the next video, coming up next week.